Addie, and today we are watching a tombstone. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. I have never really been interested in westerns. Don't hate me for that. But there are a few western movies that I've been recommended a lot, and this is one of them. So we're going to give a western a try today. I really don't know what to expect. We have Kurt Russell, we have Val Kilmer, and that's really all I know about this movie. So I guess I'm excited to watch my first western. We'll see how this goes. It has been highly recommended, so I'm excited about that. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos. And now let's get into the movie. You're pushing my chair. Ollie, Ollie, stop. Ollie bear. Are they about to kill all of these people? And on their wedding day? No. Y'all kill two cowboys. Waited a day. Let them enjoy their wedding night. Tell him get on his knees. <laughs> he just got married. Bad day. <laughs> ah, oh well, well he's on the now. Next time we come, you better step aside. I ain't kidding neither. No, no one said you were. He said. Uh, someone will come to revenge for him. It's not what he said, you ignorant wretch. Spanish is worse than your English. Did you go to hell? You first. <laughs> hell, let's eat, boy. Well, is good. I guess they knew we were coming. No, they just got married. The more de Dios es lo que ustedes no tienen. Tú eres el hijo de Satanás. Yeah. It's quoting the Bible. Behold, a pale horse. The man who sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Hurts, don't it? Going about your business. Crowley Day, U.S. Marshal for this territory. Forget it. I'm retired. I did my duty. Now I'd like to get on with my life. Never saw a rich man didn't wind up with a guilty conscience. I already got a guilty conscience. Might as well have the money, too. That's fair. <laughs> Boy, I'd know that sour face anywhere. <laughs> Virgil! Oh, Morgan! Friends. My God! Folks, this is Celia Ann, but you can call her Maddie. Quiet, I couldn't find a single store that had laudanum That's anywhere. Aw. <laughs> Aren't you just picture perfect? Thank you for this, Wyatt. It's all you're doing. We'll make our fortune, boys. Did you say you need some laudanum? <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes, I have some right here. Just be careful now. It's gonna hop. Oh, don't worry. I just get headaches sometimes. That's five hundred dollars, Holly. You in or out? Must be a peach of a hand. Oh, well, thank you, darling. You're not wearing a bustle. Oh. Oh, dude. Guess I'll just have to call. Isn't that a daisy? Son of a bitch, Billy. Just settle down. Shit. You about to fight? We cross. Them guns don't scare me. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? If I thought you were my friend, I just don't think I could bear it. There. Now we can be friends again. Okay. Touch that gun, I'll burn you down. Are we working together? I had a boy at the Hotel Pacasal. So that's why you're not wearing a bustle. <laughs> I'll just take this to you. Good evening, right. ma'am. Mm, we made it to Tombstone. Newcomers, eh? A. Name's John Behan, Cochise County Sheriff. Side Sheriff, I'm also tax collector, captain of the fire brigade, and chairman of nonpartisan anti Chinese league. Okay, you certainly do a lot. A lot of law around here. Already met the county sheriff. He ain't no law. The only real law around here is the Cowboys. You always spot a cowboy, they always wear those red sashes. Even the high rollers won't go near it. It's too bad, too. It's a nice place. Yeah, it is a nice place. Howdy, stranger. What can I get you? I wouldn't mind one of those cigars. Kind of dead in here, isn't it? You don't listen to good things. You see that bird at the faro table? He comes barging in here one day, slapping all the customers, waving his gun around. 
Why don't you get rid of him and get yourself a straight dealer? That's easy for you to say. How many times am I going to have to tell you to keep that damn cigar out of my face? Something on your mind? Just want to let you know you're sitting in my chair. Who? I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. I'm scared. Listen, mister, I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your... <laughs> I'm getting tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. I said throw down, boy. Or we're just going to keep slapping you. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? Here, Milt. Keep sick. All right, youngster, out you go. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, that works. Didn't take much. Just some slaps. Oh, what do you say, Milt? 25% of the house takes sound about right. It just acquired us a quarter interest in the game at the Oriental. Uh oh. He's coming back. Well, Johnny's happy Tyler. with you. Where are you going with that shotgun? I didn't know you was back in town. How the hell are you? Quiet, I am rolling. Oh, He's Johnny, so I apologize. There. I forgot you were there. You may go now. <laughs> Goodbye. Have you met Doc Holliday? Kiss on your wife. Mr. Holliday. Forgive me if I don't shake hands. We are growing to be as big as San Francisco in a few years and just as sophisticated. <laughs> yes, very sophisticated. Very cosmopolitan. Mm hmm. Wyatt, Doc? Does everyone know them? Jack, great, I'll have to have those guns. It was a fair fight, we was legal. Animal. Law and order every time, that's us. What so kind of town is this? Who is this? I wonder who that tall drink of water is. He's got the look of both predator and prey. I want one. Oh. Happy hunting. I'd like you to meet Mayor Clum and his wife. Mr. Herb, I was wondering if Not you a might... Prayer. Nice meeting you. Oh, don't have time for you. Oh, I seen him in Bisbee. He catches stuff. He catches Catch stuff. this. <laughs> Shoot again. Hey. Right. Enjoy the show, people. Set the seat. Damn, what? what do you think, uh, Billy Nilly? I think he's wonderful. <laughs> Upon St. Crispin's Day! That's great! Why? Just why? That, that's Faust. He, he's gonna make a deal with the devil. That's a cool little spotlight. But who was the devil? Oh! She's the devil. Surprise! You may indeed, if you get lucky. Coming to the Oriental Verge? Well... Not tonight. <laughs> tonight, me and my old man are gonna have some fun. Mm. Please stay with me. I, I gotta get to work. All right. Well, wait a minute. I guess I don't have to go right now. I, I could stay a while. Is that the bottle Lou gave you? Yes, it is. Maybe you should see a doctor. Everything's fine. Ooh, is everything fine? Is everything fine? Do you actually consider yourself a married man, forsaken all others? Well, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much? Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. And what would you do if she walked in here? You know you that well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's walking in. Yep. Oh, your dress is fun. Howdy. Are you going to ignore her? You're actually ignoring her, wow. I stand corrected, Wyatt. You're an oak. Mr. Earp, would you mind signing an autograph for me, sir? Wyatt Earp, huh? Law don't go around here. I'm retired. Good. Because law just don't go around here. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Winner to the uh -huh. king, $500. Kind of repeating yourself there. You must be Doc Holliday. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime. Yeah, you look it. I don't know. There's just something about him. Something around the house. Oh, the tension! I hate him. Oh, He's drunk. Oh. We we don't need to start this. I Jake Wodajis. Evidently, Mr. Ringo's an educated man. How oh, I really hate him. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Bravo. Bravo. The man, Dilling Farrell. 
Who is he? That's wider. Very impressive. Uh, I believe he's married. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna stop either of them, it seems. Oh, hell. Is she down there? Hello. Oh, Hello. she is over here. I was beginning to think we'd never meet. This is fortuitous. Easy now. What is it? That mare isn't seasonal. How do they know? They know. So their horses are gonna fall in love, they're gonna fall in love. Let's run it out of them. Okay. She's a little feisty. Yeah, I'm an oak, all right. <laughs> End of the road. Maybe for you. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> She's gonna keep going. You could have been killed back there, busted up. Fun though, wasn't it? I mean, obviously they're gonna fall in love, but he he's married. I'm a little conflicted. Are you happy? I'm happy? Happy as the next man, I guess. Are you happy? No, I'm always happy. Unless I'm bored. That blonde woman, is that your wife? Yeah, tell us a little bit about her. What do you want out of life? <laughs> you get these questions. Just answer. Well, I don't know. Make some money, I guess. Well, I ought to know my own mind, and I'm telling you what suits me as a family and kids. What's your idea, Heaven? Room service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's laughing again. I want to move and go places and never look back. Just have fun. Need someone to share it with, though. You mean Behan? Why are you with him? I'm a woman. I like men. If that means I'm not ladylike, then I guess I'm just not a lady. But you're a lady, all right. I'll oh. take my oath on it. Mm. <laughs> Is that the opium Lou gave you? It's a new bottle, isn't it? I imagine so. And where have you been? Just out. Uh, how are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I was thinking today, what if we pulled out stakes and just moved on, you know? Live on room service the rest of our lives, how'd that be? Why, what are you talking about? Nothing. He wants a room service type of gal. You're not a room service type of gal. Is that old dark tray? That sounds like old dark tray to me. This happens to be a nocturne. You know, Frederick being Chopin. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's about to start a fight. Just capital. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You're gonna start a freaking fight. <laughs> you know, typically when I feel great, I don't do this stuff. But you do you, I guess. Somebody's gotta do something. Well, I believe you're the sheriff. Why don't you just leave it alone? I gotta do something. Die. That is the moon, sir. You are not going to get the moon. Did someone shake his guns away? Ready, Bill. Well, howdy, Fred. Hand him over. Here you go. Shoot. You, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sad. Better get him off the street. Get a rope. Bring him up. Nobody's hanging anybody. Turn him loose. He said to turn loose of him. You don't step aside, we'll tear you apart. He just shot the sheriff. Your friends might get me in a rush, but not before I make your head into a canoe. You understand me? He's bluffing. Let's rush him. No. He is not bluffing about this canoe head. And you, music lover. You're next. He's so drunk, he can't hit nothing. Oh, I bet he can. you probably seen a double. I have two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> that works. I see you soon. Go meet him. Poor Fred, or whatever his name was, just dead. Poor dead Fred. So it takes Judge Spicer three weeks to get back to town, and he says, "Well, did you actually see it? You can't have a murder without a witness." What? Case dismissed. Yeah. Excuse me, Wyatt. Do you have a moment? Uh oh. Please, will you just hear now, me? Now hold out? on, Mayor. <laughs> Excuse me. What about you? You were a lawman. I'm busy. You know, you men are making a lot of money in this town. In the meantime, a lot of decent people are suffering. Oh. 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 Oh.
always saying you can't own a gun. You can't carry a gun in town. That seems reasonable. Told you we weren't getting involved. You got us involved when you brought us here. Mm. These people are afraid to walk down the street, and I'm trying to make money off that like some goddamn vulture. God, I don't believe this. Ah, oh, God, don't tell me. For the first time in our lives, we got a chance to stop wandering and finally be a family. We know what we're doing, Wyatt. All those years I worked those cow towns, I was only ever mixed up in one shooting. But a man lost his life, and I took it. Mm. You're both making a big mistake. Doc won't quit. He's been at it for 36 hours straight. Why? Just in time. Pull up a chair. Oh, buddy, you need some sleep. Been hitting awful hard, haven't you? I've not yet begun to defile myself. I, I think you have. Doc can go on day and night and then some. Well, he already has. Oops. What is that now? If nobody's that lucky. Maybe poker's just not your game, I I'm not going to just get into a fight. How about if I just ring your scrawny neck? <laughs> you all in it together. Nobody's in anything. I like you're drunk going home and sleeping off. I ain't going to forget nothing. Buddy, you're not okay. Doc? You I hope you die. Okay. Nobody cheated your wife. Just go home. Don't take no math from the bartenders, neither. I'm gonna send them to hell on a shutter. You tell them that. You messed with the wrong people. You're gonna give Ike back his gun. Up till he sobers up. Wearing that badge don't make you right. He's still very intoxicated. I'll fight you right now. <laughs> oh, he'll fight you right back. You're gonna bleed. You got a fight coming. Coming today. You lost some 60% of your lung tissue, maybe more. You need complete rest. You must attempt to deny your marital impulse. Get out of my sight. How are you feeling, Doc? Better. It appears uh, we must redefine the nature of our association. I'm a good woman to you, Doc. Don't I always take care of you? True, you are a good woman. And again... You may be the Antichrist. <laughs> uh, there's six of them. Stay calm, use your head, it'll be all right. Those cowboys been telling everybody in town they're gonna clean you out. They're carrying guns, Wyatt. You'll have cowboys coming around looking for trouble from here to Christmas. You wanna risk all that over a misdemeanor? You're damn right I'll risk it. They're breaking the law. It's not your problem, Doc. That is a hell of a thing for you to say to me. Okay, he's getting involved. Not the time! <laughs> Not the time! Here's this on you broke your hand. Oh, not what I want! Oh, this tension. Who's gonna shoot first? Oh? Oh, that's gonna make him mad. Oh my god. <laughs> You now, you son of a. You're a daisy if you do. All right, all of you are under arrest. I don't think I'll let you arrest us today, Behan. He won't let you arrest him. Ooh, milady. Well, I guess we did our good deed for today, man. The streets of Tombstone. Yeah, I think this is going to create a much bigger problem. You're right. It's nothing like I thought. I almost wish I know more. Sister boy should have stuck around. What do you want, Ringo? I want your blood. I want your soul. And I want them both right now. Right now? Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. 
Just my game. Oh, no. I'll put you out of your misery. Say wham. Right, don't. No, don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we don't need this. Don't mind him. He just drunk, that's all. I want them spitting blood! Easy, son, easy. Now ain't the time. The way it's storming, I feel like something's definitely going to happen tonight. Ooh, so ominous. Your... your mustache. Get a knife, boy. I'm a little bit. No, if they kill him, I like Verge. Yeah. Oh, and I like this dog. Hello. No. Verge. If they kill Verge, I'm going after them. Death and the devil. Uh -oh. oh dear. Oh, honey. I wish you'd learn to play a real card game. I don't know. I'm kind of listening to those cards right now. Please. I know it's okay. awful to come here, but listen, I think something's gonna happen tonight. So, dude. It's Verge. Are we sure it's just Verge? No! It is not Verge! Would they kill all of the wives? Yeah, they would. They definitely would. Sweet dog. The thunder's sure getting close. Verge. What'd you forget? Huh. Go ahead. What happened? We gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Listen to yourself, Wyatt. Do you see what's happening here? What? What do you mean? I'm afraid your husband's going to lose the use of his arm. Oh, oh God. I still got one good arm to hold you with. <laughs> Morgan, wait a minute! Birch. He doesn't want to talk now, Wyatt! Oh, this is gonna get messy. Here, here. I heard about what they did to your women. I had no part of it. Brothers to the bone, right, McMasters? No, not anymore. We're with you. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, so much blood. The bullet's too deep, I can't get it out. I'm sorry. Easy, more. Is he about to die in your arms? They got me good. Don't let him get you, brother. You're the one. Don't worry about that now. Remember what I said about seeing a light when you're dying? It ain't true. I can't see a damn thing. Oh. Mark. Mark. Oh, get away from me! Can't you see? Get away from me! Ooh. Oh, that it was a terrible night. I want you to know it's over. Well, bye. Okay, rude. You smell that, Bill? Smells like someone died. Oh, I would just want to... Oh, that's so rude. Their brother just died. Stick still, Will. Finish it. <laughs> so it's not over. Where's Wyatt? Right behind you, still, Will. Oh, he was ready. <laughs> oh, 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 I have never seen that done before. See that? Says the United States Marshal. Well, don't kill me. You you came to kill them! I see a red sash, I kill my man wearing it! You tell him I'm coming! And oh. who's coming with me, you hear? Okay. Oh no, 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 that's not that's not what you're you think it is! <laughs> yep! Oh. Wow. When they said anyone wearing the the red sash, they meant it. Yeah. Hey, what? How the hell are you? you? Got some boys over there behind you. Got you in a little crossfire. How you like that? No. What? What are you doing? Look at that. You're just gonna walk straight out there? 
No! No! Oh, that looks painful. Wyatt is not messing around. Let's find no Ringo. He's headed straight for us. If they were my brothers, I'd want revenge to him. It's not revenge he's after. It's a reckoning. Ooh. What the hell are you doing this for, anyway? Wide up is my friend. Hell, I got lots of friends. I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. We can't fight all of these okay, guys. My God. They tried to take my watch. He cursed them for cowards and they shot him. You're all ugly. He tried to bring something fine into your ugly world and you shot him for it. Billy, where are you going? But we got to have some law. Hey! Yeah. Mm. Who cares? Good job, Billy. Ringo and Ben are out front. 30 of them. There's like five of us? Gotta find a place to hold up. <laughs> Doc. Oh, buddy. Great. Is this Henry Hooker's ranch? That's right. We got a sick man. Our horses are done in. Put him up at my place. I know you boys have got to keep moving, but he looks pretty bad to me. Oh, look who's here. I'm sorry about your friend. And I'm, I'm sorry that I... I forgave you the moment you said it. Thank you. Wait. A kiss before you leave? Okay, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What the hell is that? I hope that person is dead because, ow. Uh, I imagine that person is dead. Oh! My gosh! Ringo wanted to make sure he got your attention, Marshal. Well, you did! Oak Grove at the mouth of Silver Springs Canyon, 7 o'clock! You tell him I'll be there! Take your cowboys and finish off Creek Johnson and Texas Jack. You burn them, Mike. Burn them all. I spent my whole life not knowing what I wanted out of life. Now, for the first time, I know exactly what I want. That's the damnable misery of it. It's a man like Ringo Duck makes him do the things he does. Revenge. For what? Being born. Mm. I can't beat him, can I? No. Oh, good to know, going into it. I'm going with you. <laughs> What's it like to wear one of those? Him, man. Got to come over us first. Thank you. He's waiting for you by the big oak. Quarter mile up that trail. Shooting starts. You better kick east in the Mexico line. I ain't got the words. Me neither. Well, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Surprise! You look like somebody just walked over your grave. But it's not with you, Holiday. I beg to differ, sir. Play for blood, remember? I was just fooling about. I wasn't. It's legal. All right, Lunger. Let's do it. Oh, the tension. Say when. Come on. They're so speedy. Come on. Oh, jeez. How is he still walking? You know things at all. Already taken care of. Thanks, Doc. Wasn't quite as sick as I made out. Let's finish it. Indeed, sir. The last charge of Wyatt Earp and his immortals. Good shot. And riding close together like that is so intimidating. I don't know why. I brought you something. How are we feeling today, Doc? I'm dying. How are you? Pretty much the same. I'm dying. Bullheaded man I've ever known in my entire life. I call. You're the only human being in my entire life who ever gave me hope. I was in love once. She was all I ever wanted. What did you want? Just to live a normal life. There's no normal life. Why? To get on with it. Don't know how. Sure you do. Say goodbye to me. Take that beauty and run. Don't look back. Live for me. Mm -hmm. If you ever my friend, 
leave now. Please. Thanks for always being there, Doc. Mm -hmm. Imagine this is the last time they see each other before he dies. Aww. Mm -hmm. You're a good friend to Wyatt. Good night, Josie. Good night. He's here for you. I have nothing left. Nothing to give you. Oh, I love I each other. I'll love you the rest of your life. Aww. Mm -hmm. There's our kiss. My family's rich. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> that helps us. And Let's it's extra romantic first. because of the snow. What you wanted to do the first night we met. May I have this dance? Oh, I was gonna say get room service. <laughs> and then we'll have room service. Yes! The room service! Maddie died of a drug overdose shortly after she left Tombstone. Wyatt and Josephine embarked on a series of adventures. 47 years, they never left each other's side. Aww. Hmm. Wait, this is a surprisingly happy ending. I really didn't expect that in this movie. Wait, who is Bill Paxton in this? Every time Bill Paxton is in a movie, I truly don't recognize him. Even though I've seen a few of his movies. Wait, is he one of the- wait. Addy, that is embarrassing. He was one of the brothers and I literally didn't recognize him. What? I feel like I'm getting worse and worse at recognizing faces. I did recognize Ringo. Um, he was in Terminator and I think Alien? Aliens? One of them, I don't remember which one. So I mean, I recognized a few faces, but I swear Bill Paxton is one face that I don't, I, I just can't recognize his face for some reason and literally everything that I watch him in. Cause why he was in Edge of Tomorrow, I think is, I think he was in and I literally didn't recognize him. I don't know, maybe I'm not so good with faces. This movie was fun. I, I don't think that this is still like my favorite genre of all of the genres of movies, but this one is a really good movie and it has obviously a great cast. Uh, Kurt Russell is really, and Val Kilmer, they're both really great in this movie. And there's a little love story in this one as well. Yeah, at first I was a little, um, didn't know where it was going to go because he was married, but it all worked out and they were obviously meant to be. Yeah, this is a really good movie. And I will say, so we had a Western poll on Patreon and No Country for Old Men was always just like a few points after this one. So I will be watching No Country for Old Men very soon. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous for that one. I don't know, in my mind that that is just like a scary movie. I don't necessarily think it is, but yeah, I'm a little nervous about it. But yeah, I, I surprisingly enjoyed this one. I think it just has a great cast and the movie was just very well done. So I can finally say that I've seen Tombstone. Well, this one was, as I mentioned just a second ago, Tombstone. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.